Now, the area's most accurate weather forecast with Storm Search 7 meteorologist Ryan James. Good evening to you. For the last couple of days, we've had near record warmth. Yesterday, two degrees shy. Today, we tied the record high at 87 degrees. But as we head through tonight, a weak cold front's going to work south. It's going to help kick off at least a few showers and thunderstorms. Then as we head into the weekend, we're going to warm back up. But by early next week, a powerhouse storm system drops into the area, stays just north of us. That means a big windmaker for us, but may generate a few showers, too. But let's see what's going on right now with our school net sites. And around the metro area, temperatures are currently in the mix of middle to upper 80s for most of us. It has cooled to 83 degrees in Bushland, if you want to call it that. did top out at 85 earlier today. 85 at Lorenzo de Zavala Middle School. 86 six at River Road Middle School. On the south side of town, temperatures are sitting primarily again mixed middle to upper 80s, 86 degrees at South Georgia, same thing at Tradewind Elementary, 87 degrees at Amarillo High and 85 right now at Sleepy Hollow up toward the northwest. Text line is cool to 77, 75 degrees in Clayton, still 85 in Channing, 86 degrees in Dumas, 78 up at Oklahoma Panhandle State University. Across the northeastern Panhandle, Darizette Fowlett both at 85 degrees, 85 also at the Robert Clark Ranch down toward the southeast Wellington 86 Valley sitting at 90. Look at the high today at Valley 91 degrees back toward the west and southwest Nazareth happy both at 85 82 degrees in both Clovis and Portales. Here's a look at Higgins School as have some moisture just a couple of showers and thunderstorms just off to your east even uh, some severe weather across northwestern parts of Oklahoma right now temperature of 84 degrees that dew point at 56 south wind pretty much between 10 and 15 miles an hour. Take a look at the regional radar satellite combination. You'll see one tornado watch to the north across parts of Kansas into Nebraska, northwestern sections of Missouri, then a severe thunderstorm watch that goes all the way down into northwestern parts of Oklahoma and stays out of the Texas panhandle. But it can't rely on isolated shower thunderstorm as we head into this evening overnight. Tonight is a warm front and storm system all kind of slowly sags off toward the east and southeast. Temperature wise across the area, warm 86 at the airport in Amarillo, 90 right now in Midland, 77 at DFW, 69 in Denver. For tonight, along that warm front, there might be a few isolated showers and thunderstorms. Some of those may work their way into the eastern parts of the Texas Panhandle, may even try to sneak into the eastern parts of the metro. We'll see. 48 degrees tomorrow morning. That whole storm system drops down toward the south. We'll have a north wind in the wake of that storm system and a few low clouds around tomorrow morning. But the low clouds should break free by noon around 66 degrees. Then in the afternoon with some of that residual moisture, might see a few more isolated showers, a few widely scattered showers and thunderstorms trying to pop up in the heat of the afternoon. 77 for the high with a northeast to east wind at 5 to 15 miles an hour. As we head into Friday night and Saturday, a few more low clouds possible then. And that trough of low pressure back toward the west starts to strengthen. That means the winds will start to strengthen up to about 10 to 20 by the time we get to Saturday afternoon with a high back up to 87 degrees. For tonight, temperatures back in the mid 40s to mid 50s for most of us. Might see an isolated shower here in the central panhandle. Better chance off toward the east. For tomorrow in Amarillo and Canyon, maybe a widely scattered afternoon or evening shower thunderstorm. And everyone has a chance for a shower or thunderstorm tomorrow, but most of us will miss out. It will be a little cooler though with highs a mix of 70s to around 80 degrees. Looking at the seven day forecast, highs in the upper 80s Saturday and Sunday. Cold front blows on through. Strong winds coming up, especially from Monday. May see some wraparound rain showers as well by Tuesday. Looking at upper 60s and then warming up for the second half of the next week. And what kind of proud papa would I be if I didn't show a picture of Olivia? She turns six years old today. I took this picture this morning as she was headed off to school. Uh, six years old already and she is being a great big sister to uh, Charlotte, who is a little terrorist. And, uh, <laughs> and, and we, it, that's just the plain and simple case. And she has to put up with a lot. But uh, Olivia does a great job as a big sister, helps out a lot. And, nice. and she just does wonderful. Very sweet. Happy birthday from all of us, wow. for sure. Where did six oh. years go? Wow. That quick. A snap. It's gone. Yeah. Well, coming up, Adrian.